China is really a hybrid. So you can see that uh, uh, internationally, we, we, everybody is, is talking about China, but China's uh, image and of course China's, uh, 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 what China has done has not been probably well uh, understood outside China or there's even some misunderstanding about China. World. And now of course China is entering that world with a fifth of global GDP and a significant middle class. So this is a big, big change. And I think people's mindsets are really not um, used to sort of thinking of China as a major equal power. I have argued, um, as, a, as have a lot of other people, uh, including Elizabeth Perry and you know very kind of distinguished scholars, have argued that Chinese values are hybrid. I mean, it's a kind of culture and a history which has had different kinds of uh, ethical and philosophical and religious views from Confucianism to Taoism and then contemporary belief systems. Uh, this is a very flexible worldview and I think China isn't some place that you can give a simple label to. I mean, there are some aspects of China which of course, like poverty relief, China's work in climate change, uh, have been essential and important parts of a very good dialogue with the rest of the world.